I had the uh, Baja 8 out for a drive. So I wanted to, ah, I'm going to show you a video and I want to tell you how it went. Uh, pretty good. Um, there are a few things. So I upgraded a bit. Take a look here. I've changed out. I put in H HR hot racing aluminum and carbon. It's kind of hard to see. Aluminum and carbon uh, lower links. I put it incision upper links. I did buy a GPM aluminum piece for here, but it didn't fit. Um, this truck is different, obviously, than version one. It's different in ways I didn't expect. So, we're going to take a look at some driving footage, and we're going to take a look at, um, how it's different. Because it's not obvious when you first look at the truck that there have been, uh, quite a few minor, but maybe important changes made. So, let's take a look. Alright, so the first, um... Thing that's changed is this front mount where the frame mounts to the cage up here under the this front skid plate I guess you call it is at a different angle than it was originally it's actually forward about a centimeter half a centimeter so any parts made for the version one that fit up here don't fit um, so I discovered that so I decided hey I want to protect this bendy plastic and I bought this metal piece to go over but even though it's made of steel I managed to bend this and permanently set the permanently push the body into a new position by bending the um, the cage so I had to rip this off and you can see it's quite there's quite a bend in it um, so that was useless just a couple of crashes and it put a lot of pressure on the plastic piece and then buckled the, the cage underneath and actually drove the wheel wells into the tire. So when you see um, see the video, uh, you might hear some wheel rub and that's because this whole front part was, was kind of smushed down and this was moved forward. So it's actually cracked the Lexan body in here. Um, another thing, a uh, couple differences. Um, the ball joints or the the ball ends for the shocks and the ball ends for the sway bar on the back they're wider they're bigger everything like that is bigger than it originally was or the ball ends on the um, swing arms so when i installed these incision ones that were made for version one they're a little bit narrower in the ball so the mounts squeeze in a little bit tighter so that's something to be aware of when i went to mount the shocks and the, the sway bar to these HI racing arms, lower links, um, the ball ends were too wide so I had to take them out and I had to dremel them down so they'd fit in the slot. So it seems that Losi has um, just made the hardware a little bit heavier and then that causes some issues. So if you're buying parts, I'd say if you own this and you're going to buy some upgrade parts, wait and only buy things that say V2. Um, the metal front piece I had, it did say V2, it just bends really easily. Um, so other than that, I protected the body, I put in uh, T-Works uh, car gum, body gum, and strengthened up the whole front end, I strengthened the roof, I think I shall strengthen these pillars, these pillars aren't very strong, I already got a crack in one here. Um, I used drywall tape and uh, Gorilla tape here on the back just to try to protect the body from the wheel scraping but if you take a look in this wheel well you can see there's quite a bit of wear in there so it is starting to wear the paint off anyway because it wore through the um, Gorilla tape now as far as performance this thing is super super quick it's a very very fast rig 
it dries relatively well. It will roll over. Well, traction roll because of this solid rear axle, um, but that's to be expected. Um, I did like the shocks, so I took it out of the box. I really like these shocks, but I found after just one battery pack that maybe it'd be nicer to have um, a little bit stiffer suspension. So I've, I've wound the caps down. Um, seemed the wheels were always hanging out inside. Also, um, I think too much wheel speed goes to the front wheels, so I'm going to change the diff, um, change the diff fluid in the front. I might put in diff grease. I might put in uh, Tamiya makes a putty. I might put the putty in. Um, I want more power to the rear. The front wheels tend to expand quite a bit. I think that would help. Um, one very frustrating thing was um, the battery, the battery tray. So it's inside the body from the bottom. Right? It's in under here, or under here, sorry. So this battery door that latches, it's got a metal latch, that's fine. Battery slides in. Um, now I gotta take out my adapter. So I'm running this Chinese brand that's actually quite good, so I will recommend it. Gowning um, 6500 milliamp, 100 C plus. And I actually have a couple more coming with the uh, EC5 connectors, um, 8,000 milliamp ones, 130C. Um, so these are hard packs. My soft packs are too long for the battery tray in here because I do have soft packs. And when I put it in, the, the wires on this are mounted here. So they're supposed to come out the bottom, but the door closes onto the black wire so there was no way to close the door I could could not get it closed and use my battery pack and the soft packs were too long I have leopard ah, soft packs so what I had to do is I had to cut the top out of the battery tray so I had to make a space so I could mount the battery upside down have the wires run out here otherwise there's no way to close the door um, which is unfortunate. I mean, this, the pram, and I had to take the foam off this side of the battery door because with the foam on it wouldn't close. And then I had to slightly make the hole where it mount, where the slide goes through. I had to make that hole slightly bigger to even get it latched. So I think that's a bit unfortunate. It's a very tight fit. I didn't try it with 2S. I took out the spacer for running 2S. Um, I just ran this thing on 3S, and uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying that it was hard to fit the battery and I had to mod it a bit to put it in. I didn't change the connector because I'm planning on buying more Horizon um, Horizon rigs, and rather than switching everything to XT90 or XT60, I think I'll just get adapters for my charger and start running uh, EC5s. Uh, battery packs or change connectors to EC5s on other ones, but my LMT, I already changed it to XT, the XT version, so I guess I'll keep a few that way. Um, as far as performance, it does run well. It runs very, very, very quick. Now, I don't, when I ordered this, I thought it'd be smaller, actually, because I don't really have space for large vehicles. I have other large ones that don't get to run very often. Um, so I took it out to a park and I ran it on the grass and I ran it on the concrete and I already noticed the tires are wearing. So these are nice soft tires and these are good for dirt but if you're running them on concrete I don't know how long how much time you'll get out of the tread on them because one battery pack and the treads wearing off. I do find the uh, steering like there's quite a bit of like i can push on that before it engages the um the uh, servo so there's quite a bit of play in it i'll probably change out the servo run something quicker i generally do um other than that it's what's to be expected it's very fast it has a lot of suspension travel um it's super fun the body will self-destruct when you smash the truck I'm noticing more little starting cracks, so I'll probably pull the whole body off and strengthen some new areas. 
Um, but yeah, it's going quick, and when you hit something, yeah, something's going to give. So better the polycarbonate body than the uh, chassis or something. All right, I'm very happy with it. Uh, enjoy the footage, and uh, see you next time. All right, we're going to test out this for the first time. And I have upgraded a few things. Reinforce the body. Put a nice metal skid plate on the front. New rear links with carbon and aluminum and steel links up front. Had a bit of trouble with getting a battery to fit in this battery tray, but I think everything is good. We're running 3S. So let's power it up.
so I put this metal piece to protect the front. It is bent. You can see it's bowed in here. You can see the plastic behind its bowed. And it's pushed the whole kind of cage. See the bend in here? It's pushed everything back. So my body's sitting way too high. The wheels are clipping. Everything has been, I don't know, crunched up front. So I guess I can't use that. I have to take that off. <laughs>